Good morning, seventh grade. It is Wednesday, March 17th. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Um, hopefully you're wearing a little green today. All right. Um, today, make sure you've got your math notebook and a writing utensil. And let's begin in prayer. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God, may God give you for every storm a rainbow, for every tear a smile, for every care a promise and a blessing in each trial. For every problem life sends a faithful friend to share, for every sigh a sweet song, and an answer for each prayer. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, you have a warm up. This is a tricky problem. Um, I want you to think about it. I'm going to give you a little hint. The hint is remember what we talked about last week about triangles. If you add up all of the angles in a triangle, they equal 180 degrees. You need that information to be able to solve this problem. Okay, so pause the video, see if you can figure out the measure of angle A, and then come on back and I'll show you the answer. Okay, so we're trying to find the measure of angle A. So I've got this triangle here. I've got a right triangle. Remember, it's got a right angle here, okay, which means that that angle there, I'm going to go ahead and put a little arrow, is 90 degrees. Okay, so we know that angle is 90 degrees. Um, we don't know angle A. We're trying to find that. And then we've got this other angle up here that we also don't know. But we can figure that angle out. Okay, remember that when you have a straight line, okay, this is a straight line here, to the, the angle that's 143 degrees and this little angle inside form a linear pair. They're supplementary. Okay, so I can figure out that little angle there by taking 180 degrees minus 143 that gives me that little angle. And so 180 minus 143 is 37 degrees. So that little angle is 37 degrees. Okay, so now I'm gonna draw that triangle a little bit bigger so we can see it a little bit better. So now I've got this 90 degree angle here, right? I've got this little angle up here that we just said was 37 degrees. So how do I figure out the other angle, which is in this case is angle A. Okay, I'm trying to find angle A. Remember that angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So uh, a angle A plus 37 degrees plus 90 degrees has to equal 180 degrees. So I can figure out angle A by subtracting. So angle A, or the measure, I should say of angle A, um, 90 plus um, 37 is 127. So subtract 127. So the measure of angle A is 53 degrees. Okay, it's a really good problem, really good problem. You had one similar to this in your homework last night, but they gave you more information. They actually gave you, I think, this angle down here. Okay, so, but we, we know that from last week that those, the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So we use that information to solve this problem. All right, so today we are again revisiting some content from last week. We are going to revisit solving problems with where we have parallel lines that have been um, cut by a transversal. And so if you look at that picture, this is actually another picture directly from your homework tonight. So it's really good information with all those definitions of um, the different angle relationships that are formed when you have um, parallel lines cut by a transversal. So in this particular case, line C and line F are parallel. Okay, and it says that right here, line C is parallel to line F. Line A is a transversal. It's cut through those two parallel lines. And then they numbered these angles. And you have to be careful when you're numbering your angles, make sure that you pay attention to which angle is, is which, because how you number it then changes which one um, it's, a, it's in relationship with. So the way that they've numbered this, angle one and angle five are corresponding. Okay, and we talked about what that meant last week. If you don't remember how we figured out these relationships, you should go back and watch the video last week. Um, just go back to last week's content, find the one that's on um, angles, parallel lines, and transversals and watch that video again if you need to. Okay, this is kind of like a little cheat sheet, but it's really important that you understand why those angle relationships are the way they are. 
Okay, so we're going to solve just a couple of problems and then I'm going to turn you loose on your homework. Okay, so um, we're going to just solve a couple of problems here. And this is really similar to one of the problems you're going to see in your homework assignment tonight. Um, last week I saw a lot of mistakes when trying to calculate the different angles. Um, on, on these kinds of problems where we had parallel lines. So in this case, I'm gonna say that line L and line M are parallel, okay? And I've got a couple of transversals. I've got transversal A and transversal B. And I don't need to really say anything about them other than that, you know, they're cutting through these two parallel lines. What I want you to do is think about this as two separate problems. Don't worry about the fact that you have two different lines that are cut through, um, these parallel lines. Look at it as two separate problems. You know, you could even, if you wanted to, like draw a line down the middle and say, okay, I'm pretending that I'm cutting this paper in half and I'm going to look at this as problem one and this over here is problem two. I think a lot of times when students see all those lines, they get kind of confused. So just think about it as two separate problems. So the first problem that we want to solve is we want to look at all the angles in problem one. And I'm going to go ahead and label them. I'm going to say this is angle one, two, three, and four. And then I've got five, six, seven, and eight. Now, I probably labeled them differently than they were numbered on that little cheat sheet. And that's OK. You have to be able to, to think about the relationship between the angles, not just the numbers, because how you number them matters, right? So I want to figure out all of the other all of the angles, the missing angle values in that picture in problem number one. And so we use the information that we know about angles. The first thing that I always do is I look at this and say, okay, well, if this is 120 degrees, I automatically know angle three is a vertical angle. If I just even ignore the whole bottom part of the problem, Angle one and angle three are vertical angles because there's just two angles that cross there, right? So that means that angle three is 120 degrees. So I can figure out the top section first. Now I need to figure out angles two and four. The good news is they're vertical angles also. So if I figure out one of them, if I figure out angle two, I'll know that it's the same as angle four. Well, how do I figure out angle two? Remember, this is a straight line, which means that this angle and this angle have to equal 180 degrees. So angle one plus angle two is 180 degrees. If we know that angle one is 120 degrees, we can figure out angle two. It's going to be 60 degrees, 180 minus 120. So angle two is 60 degrees. So I know that that is 60 degrees. If angle two is 60 degrees, angle four is also 60 degrees because these two angles are vertical angles. So this is 60 degrees. So we haven't had to use any of our um, rules for um, parallel lines yet, okay? Just to get those first four angles. Now we do need to use our rules. And so remember there's, and there's several different rules and you can pick whichever ones you wanna use. I like to use alternate interior angles. Remember alternate interior angles are on the inside, right? They're inside in between these two lines here. So alternate interior angles are congruent. Well, 60 degrees is an alternate interior angle with angle six, right? Angle four and angle six, because they are both inside and they're on opposite sides. They're the same. So that means that angle six is 60 degrees. And we know that angle three and angle five are alternate interior angles. They're on opposite sides of the transversal in between the two lines. So that means that angle five is 120 degrees. It's the same as angle three. Now that we know those, we can figure out um, seven and eight. Well, six and eight are vertical angles, so that's 60 degrees, and five and seven are vertical angles, so that's 120 degrees. So we just use our deductive reasoning skills to, to figure them out. A clue here and something that um, I noticed you guys didn't pick up on last week. 
notice there's only two numbers here, right? I've got 120 and 60, and I'm seeing those same numbers over and over again. Because when you've just got one line cutting through here, that you're only going to get two different angles, okay? You just have to figure out where they fit, okay? All right, now let's look at problem two. You're going to see one similar to this on your homework. And all I have, I've actually told you enough information to solve for every angle in this picture. Let's do, um, let's go, this is angle 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Now, what I told you is this right here. That's a right angle. What do we know about right angles? Well, right angles are equal to 90 degrees. So if I know that angle 9 is 90 degrees, I also know that angle 11 is 90 degrees, right? Because they're vertical angles. But what do I know about 10 and 12? Well, I know that this is a straight line. So 90 degrees plus angle 10 has to equal 180 degrees. Well, 90 plus 90 is 180. So that one's 90 degrees. And that means that this one's 90 degrees. Look at that. When you have right angles that form, all the angles are the same. They're all 90 degrees. So what does that tell us about what's going on down here? It's the same, right? Because this angle and this angle are alternate interior angles. Let's draw it in a different color. Which means if that one's 90, then that one's 90. If this one's 90, then this one's 90, because they're vertical angles. If this, one, if this one's 90, this one's also 90, which means 15 is 90, OK? So don't let those get you, don't let those confuse you. Use the rules that you have to solve for those angles, okay? But when you have lines that are perpendicular, okay, these are creating perpendicular lines here. All your angles are gonna be 90 degrees when they're perpendicular, okay? Okay, so ignore the quiz for a second. I wanna talk about your homework assignment. Um, it is worksheet 9-4, two through 30 even. A lot of the worksheet is looking at the angles and, and talking and describing which ones are congruent to the other angles. You have to look at those rules for parallel lines and transversals. Um, use those rules to figure out which angles are congruent to answer the questions that you're asked. The second part of the assignment is very similar to what I just solved, that problem I solved where you've got a couple of parallel lines, a couple of transversals, and they're gonna ask you to solve for some missing angles. Use the rules of congruency to figure out those missing angles. There's no algebra in any of these problems. It's just adding and subtracting numbers, okay? I want you to feel confident on that before we move on to some of the algebra application next week, okay? Now, let's look at this exit quiz. This exit quiz is very similar to your warm-up problem, okay? So see if you can um, figure out what is the measure of angle B. I have given you enough information there, okay? If you paid attention during the warm-up and the solution of the warm-up, you should be able to figure this one out, all right? Um, enter that into the LMS, just like you did on Monday and Tuesday. Um, get your answer in there, and then go ahead and start working on your homework. Think about how you feel about today's lesson. Talk to your tutor if you need help. Reach out to me if you need help. Um, tomorrow is a really important video to watch because you have a little project you're going to be working on, and I'm going to explain what you need to do in that project. It's worth a lot of points, so you want to make sure that you follow all the instructions um, and, and do it correctly. So make sure you watch the video tomorrow, okay? Have a wonderful afternoon, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.